hey, if you're ready for a gourmet sandwich, we got a place for you, don't we? It's called Gourmet Sandwich. Well, By the way, uh, Brad, before you get carried away too far, uh, today's episode of Wine and Dine is brought to you by Carl Arnold, Arnold's Alibis. He will give you documentation that you were not there, you were somewhere else. <laughs> as as maybe that's what we should have known when we went to Jimmy John's Gourmet Subs down in the woodlands. I knew nothing about it. And Brad, let me say this also. This is two things, two butt-ins. Yeah. Yours, and I apologize. Uh, I don't, and I don't think Brad researches a place before we go there. We find it. <laughs> I don't do a lot of research in, on anything in I my life, Mark. I want to Mark. know what the common person witnesses when they walk into a place. That's why I don't do any research at all. Well, we looked it up on the on the internet. It said Jimmy John's Gourmet Subs, and I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be great. We're going to go to a place where we've got a, a wide selection of different meats or, or, or hot sandwiches or salads or a, a big old-fashioned deli. But a gourmet version. It was huh? That's what normal, I was thinking. Not normal sandwiches. They were gourmets. They, they were gourmets. And what do they have there? <laughs> well, <laughs> it ain't gourmet. Disappointment. You know, in, in real small type, right on the corner on their menu, it says, okay, our sandwiches are not really gourmet. And that's the most accurate thing about this place. Really, and when you go in, uh, the menu is on the wall. It's this... I mean, all this print is on the wall, and you're supposed to stand there and order stuff. It know? looks like there's all sorts of sandwiches there, but all they've got there, you really want to boil it down, they've got cold sliced meat sandwiches on a very average plain white bread. Bread, it's very thick bread, it's white, and that's it. You know, I ordered the number nine, which is an Italian nightclub, and I assumed that it Italian sandwich is going to be toasted or some something like that. Yeah, uh, and a I little just assumed, pizzazz to it. You know what happens when you assume, Brad? Yeah, man, it was one cold thing I could have got at Kroger's. Uh, well, you know, they've got sliced ham, they've got sliced turkey, they've got sliced roast beef. That's pretty much it. They they make up a whole bunch of names, but you know, all you got to have is a meat slicer and a you know a roll of bread, and you know you're pretty much on your way to having a sub shop. Uh, one other thing, uh, this place is it's. The architecture is unbelievable. It is narrow. When you go to order, you've got to get out of the way when somebody walks by to go to a booth, which is about this wide. It's like one of those shotgun houses. You know, it, it, it's really long, but it's really narrow. Yeah. That's what she said. And anyway, <laughs> anyway, it, it, this place, and they're, they've got the, the design of it. I did like the design. They've got some snappy sayings on the wall. They it's do, got right? kind of a nostalgic look on it. Mm -hmm. It's got the open cook's aisle where you can watch them make your sandwich. You know, that part is great. There's just no variety there. There's no choices there. If if you want a cold meat sandwich and you happen to be in the neighborhood, hey, go on in. But I can't see driving across town to go get a cold meat sandwich. I mean, Lenny's is right around the corner and it's it got a whole lot more. Well, and the th the sandwiches were cheap, five twenty five or five seventy five a piece. Anyway, yeah. we got two sandwiches, two drinks, two chips for twenty one something. I think uh, it was twenty something bucks. Yeah, but uh, you know, if you're going to lunch with somebody you actually like, not him. And, and maybe they don't want a cold meat sandwich. Maybe they want a meatball sub, or, or maybe they want a, a salad, or maybe they want some soup. You know, you got no options here, Mark. You don't. I, I don't understand it. But see, now that I've been there, uh, I can't recommend this place. Well, you know, I, I would like to recommend it. But and to. I, you know, their headquarters is in Champaign, Illinois, which it is the alma mater of the University of Illinois, Oskiwawa. Oskiwawa. But what Brett? The sand, don't get me wrong, the sandwich is big. They don't even have it, though, and it's very, like I say, doughy as heck. Eight inches or so, something like so, that. Yeah. The thing that got me was they, they've got this big push on in the store, you know, be a franchise owner. I don't know why you would pay them a franchise fee. All you need is a meat slicer mm -hmm. and some some cold bread and you're ready to go. You got everything they've got. Maybe the snappy sandwich uh, signs that they've That's got. True. The That's clever true. sayings. Those don't come cheap, Mark. They, they don't, don't come cheap. They don't give them away. Hey, I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic uh, for Houston Community Newspapers. Uh, Mark Hitter, <laughs> columnist for The Courier and The Villager. I give it a thumbs down, but I really wish them well, Brad. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> well, you're you're very cruel and artless, Mark. Next time, we're going somewhere else again, Brad. We, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, what he to just, that place. What he just said. Yeah. See you later. Bon appetit. Later. What he said that bon appetit. Brad, you think we put him too far on this? I don't think I did. I think <laughs> you did. <laughs> You were mean. Jason, okay. hey, guy. Uh...